this morning the sermon is very simple we're talking about staying in perfect peace how do you stay in perfect peace because there are so many things that happen in life that disturb our peace what are the things that disrupt our peace you now one very simple thing but very common thing is our vain imagination another thing could be unexpected disturbances or sometimes you know worry which is a preoccupation in our mind with a problem or it could be even anxiety anxiety is a uh, just again similar to worry but it's you're concerned about something as unknown it's about the future like a problem before it happens you're worrying about it anxious about the unknown you don't know so you're anxious you're worried you're worried about the unknown fear is giving something negative more importance than god himself so you're fearful it could be fear of man fear of circumstances situations so on So how do we address these and many other things? How do we address them based on what we read? So go back to Isaiah 26 verses 3 and 4. Let's read it again. Let's go. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. So first thing, your mind must be stayed on God. So how God is Jehovah Shalom. He is ready to fortify you with perfect peace. He is ready to put you in a place where there is total peace. But in order to enter into that place of peace, and in order to stay in that place of peace, he's giving us some instructions. Are you with me so far? So first instruction is stay your mind on him. thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you that word stay in hebrew has two full connotation means two things it means to lean upon to rest upon it also means to take a hold of so we saw you know uh that our mind has to be steadfast as we commit and focus now how do we do this practically you know three things i want to just mention to you replace worry with god's word replace anxiety with assurance he trusts trust is just another word for faith or belief they're synon- they can be used synonymously because he has faith in you because he's trusting in you because he's believing in you so how can you and i stay in this place of perfect peace stay your mind on the lord have faith in god or put your trust in god or believe in god so god can keep you and me in perfect peace two things he says stay your mind on the lord put your mind on the lord trust in the lord be a person of faith in God and you and I can experience perfect peace when there are things that trouble us one last passage before we close is this passage in Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 34 there are two assurances in this passage and two things he tells us to do the assurance he gives us is this one what matters to you matters to God secondly the assurance he gives us is what matters to you will be provided for it will be given but he tells us two things don't worry have faith don't worry have faith instead of worrying trust believe have faith and second he says you seek first god's kingdom when we know our place in god your place in the middle of the storm cannot disturb you can't disturb you instead you just walk in faith and authority in the middle of a storm because you know your place in god will there be storms yeah there will be storms unexpected things happen 
And when you know your place in God, you can walk in perfect peace. You can walk in faith and authority over that storm. Amen.